What we have seen since November is absolutely incredible. People are voicing their opinion on government overreach. They are taking to the street, protesting these illiberal COVID mandates, and they are challenging their governments in ever-increasing numbers. In Germany, thousands and thousands of people take strolls every Monday night in hundreds of cities all across the country to express to the German government that they will not tolerate being stripped of their civil rights. In Australia, Italy, France, Austria, New Zealand, and Belgium, in pretty much every Western country of the world. People are rising to defend freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. And they're doing so despite democratic governments' desperate attempts to shut these protests down by forbidding them, intimidating protesters with brute police force and water cannons, criminalizing governments, critics even going so far as to arresting them. And out of all of these movements, it is the Canadian truckers that stand out and shine brightest. Because it was the Canadian truckers, their boldness, their courage, their determination to stand up to their governments. And it was they who inspired so many others all over the world to finally come together and to be determined to put a stop to governments tearing down the very foundation of our democracies. While I might have given hope to people, like I said, it's only half the story, because the other part of the story is this. I, too, needed hope. I, too, needed to know that I am not the only one fighting this fight. We all needed this hope. We all did. And this is what you have given us. Hope. Hope that not all is lost yet. That freedom and democracy can still be restored. And it is that hope that nurtures my strength and my determination to keep up fighting on my end of the bargain. It is not enough for a handful of MEPs to stand up and toggle this fight. We need you, the people, because you are so infinitely more powerful when it comes to convincing governments that they are not doing the right thing. First of all, thank you for doing all of this, for paying us the strength we need to do our job here. But please stand up to your governments and follow the brave Canadian truckers' lead. They did exactly the right thing. Thank you.